The crucifixion of Jesus is portrayed in the Bible as death on the cross. This same word crucifixion also appears in the Quran however contemporary to Joseph. Skeptics claim that whoever wrote the Quran made a mistake the Romans invented this method 4th century BC so crucifixion could not have been known at the time of Joseph. Today Egyptologists found papyrus depicting crucifixion before Joseph. History probably originating with the Assyrians and Babylonians, crucifixion was first used systematically by the Persians. In its earliest form in Persia the, the victim was tied to a tree or post, or even impaled on an upright post, with feet clear of the ground. Only later was a cross used. In the 4th century BC Alexander the Great adopted crucifixion and brought it to the Mediterranean shores where his successors. National Library of Medicine, The History and Pathology of Crucifixion, F. P. Retief, L. Saliers. Crucifixion was known and used by Assyrians and Babylonians long before Romans but the victims were tied or impaled on the post instead of the cross. This was only known recently, however, this was portrayed in the Quran 1400 years before it was discovered. Joseph told his inmate that he will be crucified. Quran 12410, My fellow inmates. One of you will serve his master wine while the other will be crucified, and the birds will eat from his head. Thus the matter you are inquiring about is settled. He was crucified on a stake, not on a cross. Quran 89 10 12 and Pharaoh of the stakes. Who transgressed in the lands? And spread corruption. We farahin we nun aya ai lalif hamzat we ta ai ail tha yin ta gain we alif fa ya ail bala ma eat fa alif hamzat kaf thara we fa ye alif fa ail fa si na e da ta da e lalif hamzat we ta ai means stakes. Victims were tied or impaled on these stakes. In another verse it implied that it was not a T-shaped cross, Quran 2071 he said, Did you believe in him before I have given you permission? He must be your chief, who has taught you magic. I will cut off your hands and your feet on alternate sides, and I will crucify you on the trunks of the palm trees. Then you will know which of us is more severe in punishment, and more lasting. I will cut off your hands and your feet on alternate sides, and I will crucify you on the trunks of the palm trees. If the hands were cut off then definitely it was not a T-shaped cross, it had to be impalement on stakes. In the same verse, it says that he will crucify them on the trunks of palm trees these are just thicker than the usual stakes as a bigger punishment for them. This method of crucifixion was known and used by Assyrians and Babylonians long before Romans. Today Egyptologists found papyrus depicting impalement on stakes. Hieroglyph for impalement on a stake figure 4, hieroglyph writing for stake. RTJ hour to put on the stake for punishment debt. Determinative, hieroglyph for classifying Egyptian words. Here it shows an impaled man bent upon a stake. Hieroglyph writing for fall, i.e., stake number 3 shows impalement on a stake. Mentioning of impalement in the Theban account Papyrus Papyrus Boak 18 Papyrus Boak 18 is dated to the early 2nd intermediate period reign of Chenjer Sobhotep II both of them kings from the 13th dynasty. It is translated as, a bloodbath? Had occurred with by? Would? The comrade was put on the stake, land near the island, waking alive at the places of life, safety, and health. This proves that impalement on the stake was known and used by Egyptians before Joseph. How could an illiterate man who lived 1400 years ago have known if crucifixion was known or not? In the Christian Bible Jesus insists that the only sign we should verify is him being in the grave for three days and three nights Matthew 12:38:40. So we are checking, he was crucified on Friday afternoon, the day before the Sabbath Mark 15:42, and then he was resurrected on Sunday morning Mark 16:9. Between Friday afternoon and Sunday morning, there are 36 hours. Can anyone fit within those 36 hours 3 days and 3 nights?